Hey folks, Mr. MathBlog here. This lesson is subtracting decimals. We've kind of done some of this already, so don't forget all your lessons can be found at uh, MrMathBlog.com. If I remember, I'll show us that again. So, so there's our common core strand, and our question is how can we use place value to help us subtract decimals? So like I said, we've done this before. Uh, just a little review, kind of. So Sarah has 3.36 pounds of raisins and 2.28 pounds of nuts. Sarah estimates that uh, uh, she has about one more pound of raisins than nuts. How many more pounds of raisins than nuts does Sarah have? How can we use this to uh, this estimate that Sarah did, the one pound estimate, to decide if our answer is reasonable? Well, if we get an answer that's close to Sarah's estimate, then we're going to assume it's reasonable. So we're going to subtract those two numbers. 3.36 minus 2.28. Okay, so what operation are we going to use to solve the problem? Well, it's subtraction, obviously. So, and let's circle Sarah's estimate, okay? So Sarah estimated, estimated one more pound, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and subtract um, uh, 3.36 minus 2.28, okay? So here we go. So we're going to subtract the hundredths first. So we're going to do um, uh, six hundredths minus eight hundredths. Okay, and if there's not enough hundredths, we're going to regroup the tens. So these three tens, we're going to regroup and borrow from one of these three tens and make it a two ten. And then uh, that borrowed ten is going to go over here and make this sixteen hundred. So, so there we go, right there. So this three became a two, and this six becomes a sixteen because we added ten hundredths to it. Okay. All right, and then we can subtract the hundredths right there. So 16 hundredths minus 8 hundredths gets us this 8 hundredths right here, okay? All right, let's slide that up. We're running out of room here. So, okay, now let's subtract the tens, okay? So, and the ones. So when we subtract the tens, it's now 2 tens minus 2 tens is 0. And then uh, 3 ones minus a tenth, sorry, 2 tenths minus 2 tenths is 0 tenths. And then 3 ones minus 2 ones is 1 1 right there, okay? So the answer is 1.08, okay? Here's a quick picture that, that would check our work on that, okay? So we know the answer is 1.08. All right, so here's 3.36, okay? Remember, these are ones, these are tenths. And these are hundredths right here. So here's 3.36. Okay. Now before we subtract this hundredth off, we need to regroup. Okay. So we're going to regroup this tenth right here and make it ten hundredths right here. So I took that away right here. And so now this is the same right here as this. We haven't borrowed that. Now we're going to subtract those these eight hundredths right here. When we subtract those eight hundredths, it took out eight of these right here. So took out these six and then these two right here. Okay, so we still have the, the eight right there. Okay, and then now we're going to go ahead and subtract um, uh, subtract these two tens. So we're going to subtract these two tens right off right there. So those aren't there anymore. And then we're going to subtract these two ones next, you guys. So when we subtract those two ones, there's our answer right there. This is one and we don't have any tenths left, so that would be zero tenths and then eight hundredths, so 1.08 right there, okay? All right, pretty cool, huh? Okay, let's try this, you guys. Since subtraction and addition are inverse operations, we can uh, check our subtraction by using addition. So let's try that with this one, 14.2 minus 8.63. So first we're going to subtract uh, the hundredths, so we need to include that zero right there. 14.2 is the same as 14.20. Okay, then we got to borrow from this two tenths right here. We're going to make it one tenth and make this ten hundredths right there. Okay, there we go. Now we can do uh, ten hundredths minus three hundredths gives us seven hundredths right there. Okay, and then uh, we got to borrow. Now we have one tenth minus six tenths. So we're going to borrow from this uh, uh, four ones right here. So four ones will become three ones and this will become eleven uh, tenths because we'll add ten to that. Okay. All right. So uh, here we go. And then when we borrow, there's our 11 tens. So we can do 11 tens minus 6 tens is 5 tens right there. And then we're left with 13 minus 8. 13 minus 8 gets us 5 right there. Okay, so uh, let's let's check our answer here. We'll, we'll add the difference to the number. So here's the difference right here. We'll add the difference to the number we subtracted. So we subtracted this. So this 5.57 is going to go up here. And if the sum matches our our original number right here, 14.20, then we did it correctly right here. So let's go ahead and put uh, the 5.57 in there, and let's go ahead and add, okay? So 7 plus 3 is 10. We'll put a 0 here, and carry regroup the, the 1 right up there. 
So 1 plus 5 would be 6, plus 6 would be 12, so a 2 would go right there, and we'll regroup and put the 1 right there. Okay, 1 plus 5 is uh, 6, and 6 plus uh, 8 is that 14 right there, so, so it does check off. So just remember, when you're subtracting, and if you have some time and you want to do well, check your answers by adding the two numbers. It should get us what you were, the number we were first subtracting from right there. All right, hey, if you guys get a chance, would you uh, uh, click like on this video? And let me show you something real quick, you guys. I've done it in a couple other videos. If you go to MrMathBlog.com, it'll take you to all the other um, uh, lessons that we've done in this class. So this is fifth grade right here. If you're in fourth grade, there's fourth grade. If you're in third grade, there's third grade. And if you're in high school, probably not. There's all your high school lessons. Anyways, if you go down here to fifth grade right here, you'll see all the lessons in a row right here. So as I have more time, this will fill up, and we'll have the whole school year here. So we're going to go ahead and insert uh, lesson, lesson nine right there when we're done. Okay, take care, you guys.